Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to start a new series of uh, videos on AWS. So this series of video I'm starting as part of a lot of requests came to have videos on AWS cloud. We had uh, some videos on Azure cloud so I'm also starting the topic on AWS. So this will be a complete uh, beginner tutorial from you know starting like how we can set up uh, AWS uh, free account and also we'll talk about infrastructures and all those things. So it will be a complete playlist. So I'll be creating a playlist. You can look into that uh, you know for the whole details on what all the videos which are up going to upcome. Okay. So in this uh, video we are going to start with the basics of AWS uh, tutorial for beginners. So we are going to start with the cloud infrastructure so when we uh, want to understand you know uh, the infrastructure of AWS we should know like uh, different terminologies and you know what is uh, you know different components in the cloud setup right so before uh, getting into that I also would like to understand uh, you know uh, or give you some detail like why a lot of organization would like to move into cloud right so the, the the focus is now like you know how to migrate a lot of our uh, applications into cloud and why do they need is mainly because you know cloud gives them uh, more scalability because it's, it, they can easily scale you know the servers if they want to increase based on the performance or the usage they can easily you know uh, scale their servers easily right whereas in the in-house you have to add more hardwares you have to set up a lot of things if they want to increase the memories or infrastructure right so it's easy for them to scale the application in cloud and also it's more reliable so you have a more reliable reliable setup like you know the systems are running up you have a lot of availability of your application you don't get a lot of downtime so if managed services um, uh, of cloud you know it's completely managed by AWS and you know you will have a complete uh, running system right and also the from the performance side also you can have different kind of uh, you know performance like you can have complete uh, you know, uh, high CPU utilize high CPU systems or or you know you can have a different kind of configuration based on our requirement correct so as part of performance also from a cloud you know you can have a completely different kind of setup where you can have high performance systems and it can be only based on the uh, pay as you go right you don't have to pay a lot. Uh, like you know buying those hardware and you know paying for it so from that perspective also like performance and other part is like you know if you don't have a highly secured system uh, uh, no organization will go also right so uh, from a cloud perspective the when, uh, AWS and other vendors are giving highly secured systems as well so they have a lot of uh, you know um, uh, integrated uh, security measures and also like IAMs where you can control the access using groups policies and stuff and also you, you, another point which people look like low cost right so from a cloud you also need to have uh, control the cost like how you can uh, make use of uh, systems and the infrastructures and uh, utilization uh, which controls the cost and they can uh, have a low cost right uh, in generally if you have to build up your uh, in-house system you should have a uh, capex where you need to spend a lot of things to buy those infrastructure then you need to have operational cost so those kind of things is you know safe from a cloud perspective right now let's get into our uh, more in-depth topic so what we are going to cover in this AWS cloud infrastructure video is like we'll be talking about what is regions so from an uh, infrastructure you should know like uh, what is regions you should also know like what is what do you mean by availability zone in clouds and also like uh, edge location so these are the main three components as part of uh, you know the infrastructure of uh, AWS cloud so uh, we'll also a uh, little bit uh, talk about uh, this uh, topic which is called the magic quadrant of cloud infrastructure and platform services this is a survey from Gartner where you'll we'll talk about who are the leaders and challenges uh, challengers and uh, niche players and uh, those kind of things as well okay so before uh, you know, I get into the in-depth topic, I would uh, request you like if you are new to my channel and if you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button, like my video, share and uh, give your uh, feedback in the comment section. Now let us uh, get started into our uh, discussion on what do you mean by you know, different components in the AWS cloud infrastructure, right? So the main uh, component or main topic which we need to understand is called a region, right? 
so uh, you can see like now I mentioned a region as US West Oregon right so what is a region means so a region is a physical location okay so for example Oregon uh, so it's a physical location in a world right it can be any place in the world so one of the example is Oregon and in this uh, location you'll have a lot of data centers which are clustered so in the same way like you know uh, like uh, us west you can also have uh, us east which is can be in uh, north virginia and there are there is other locations also in us east and west and you also can have other locations like uh, asia, Pacific, asia Pacific, singapore and you can also have in asia Pacific like mumbai or some other locations so this is only just example like three uh, locations so the, what do you mean by region is like it's a physical location across the world and you know I, I will talk about how many regions as part of current uh, statistics in AWS how many regions are there how many availability zones are there which you will see in the upcoming slides uh, but to understand you so the region is the main uh, physical location and inside the regions you will have different availability zones so it can be you know uh, multiple uh, two availability zone or three or four some will have four as well so you know it, it's, it depends upon the location so an availability zone is a composed of one or more data centers so inside the region you'll have availability zone and each availability zone is a uh, composed of uh, multiple data centers okay and uh, as i mentioned again you know each region have uh, multiple availability zone so uh, in a region you will have one or two or more uh, availability zone generally it will have minimum two because for high, high availability you need to have at least two uh, availability zone so in general in AWS more all the regions you will have two or more availability zone so that's how uh, default uh, you know structure of uh, infrastructure uh, you know, the global infrastructure of AWS system so you can see there will be different regions and then you'll have availability zone and you also also have you know uh, each region will have multiple availability zone and each availability zone you will have a different kind of uh, public uh, uh, you know public and private uh, subnet so those kind of in-depth of networking we will cover a little bit later like how the regions will have you know the networking IP and also how the availability zone you can split it the subnets like private IP public IP and what is the internet gateway so those kind of things we will discuss in the upcoming sections but this is the general overview of how the infrastructure look like now uh, to give you details like how many uh, regions as part of the current statistics from Amazon there are around 31 regions so across the globe you will have 31 uh, regions in uh, AWS so we'll also see the details like in each how you can find out which location have uh, which country have how many regions so I will show you all those things as well and you also have like uh, 99 uh, you know, uh, availability zone so uh, combined of all these 31 regions you'll also have you know each region will have two or more availability zones so total we have 99 availability zone as of current so it can it, it will be keep increasing and there are also like 400 plus edge locations so we are not spoke about edge locations that we'll also cover that also uh, in the next uh, slides so this is the overall uh, statistics of regions and availability zone and edge locations. so currently as per the current statistics as of today okay so it can change tomorrow because as you know like as part, as part of the upgrades the you know uh, aws will be keep upgrading the systems and adding up more data centers and more uh, regions and more availability zones and uh, those kind of things so that's uh, for the current uh, details and to moving on the you know the uh, for to talk about edge locations you should know like you know first of all you should know like aws cloud front so what do you mean by aws cloud front so the cloud front is a content delivery network or cdn operated by amazon web services so why we are talking about cloud front is because you uh, know this cdn uh, network of servers that helps to distribute the content from a original servers through the uh, throughout the world by caching the content close to where the each user is accessing the internet via web enabled devices right so you should have heard about like CDN like which are, like, uh, helps uh, people to see a lot of uh, streamings and other video contents or uh, browsing uh, things which e easily they can watch out uh, those content even though the web servers are in a different country uh, this uh, CDNs help them to cache those content to a nearby you know uh, locations wi with some devices and that can be easily streamed to the end user devices right so that's the concept of uh, you know, CDN and that is how were we uh, come to the concept of edge cache uh, you know, regional edge caches and, uh, and the uh, things what we are spoke talking about now so the AWS CrowdFront will have uh, edge uh, caches regional edge caches and there are around 13 plus regional edge caches as part of uh, current uh, statistics and you also have edge locations so 
uh, from the you know the region ad caches you'll also have uh, edge location so users can easily you know access the content using these uh, devices so there are around uh, 400 plus edge location as well so this is how the you know the overall CDN network will look like like you know from the cloud friend where uh, people are using you'll have a uh, cache location and also edge location where people who are using uh, the, any web services or any content using the CloudFront service, they can easily uh, get those data into their system using this caching method, okay? So we'll talk uh, detail about all this in the upcoming uh, uh, sections or tutorials, but this is more about how the infrastructure look like, uh, the global AWS infrastructure look like, okay? And to a little bit talk about this magic quadrant. So we also have, you know, uh, this uh, detail which is coming from the Gartner. Now you can see uh, from the leaders in the cloud, Amazon Web Services is in the top. So this is, a, you know, uh, if you see the quadrant, the leaders, challengers, niche players, and visionaries, right? So if you see the leaders and uh, visionaries, Amazon is on the top, and you know the Microsoft, then Google, Alibaba, Oracle, and there are others like IBM and uh, other s systems, right? So if you see currently, Amazon Web Services are on the top uh, players who is giving the cloud uh, services for different organization and then Microsoft, Google. And we will see like, you know, what uh, kind of benefits and what kind of you know, challenges each, uh, you know, the service providers have it. Uh, I will show you that also in the uh, uh, slides and the details how you can access that. So if I go to this uh, Amazon uh, Web Services uh, Global Infrastructure web page, you can see the whole details which I explained. It will be available over here as well. Now we spoke about 31 uh, regions, right? And each region have multiple availability zone. And we also spoke about like there are 99 availability zone as of now, okay? And there are four, uh, 410 points of present that 400 uh, edge locations and 13 uh, regional edge caches, right? And this is also the you know, map like where you can see the different kind of regions and you know Canada is going to coming soon. So there are the green which are already launched and you can see each region you can see how many availability zone also you have it, right? So you can see Sao Paulo you have three regions. So mostly all regions will have at least two availability zone. And you can see like uh, it, how it is split at like 32 uh, local zones and uh, wavelength zones. 245 countries and uh, there are connected locations so all those details you will be able to see it and if you also want to see you know uh, the other details about uh, how you can find out the zones and everything i will show you that as well you can s go to regions and availability zone and you'll be able to see like north america south america which uh, you know if you go to asia pacific you should see like how many uh, regions you have so you can have uh, singapore you have tokyo you have seoul Mumbai, Hong Kong, right? And each, uh, it also like how many availability zone you have it. So all these details, you can see it from here itself. You go to North America, you can also see like, uh, we, we spoke about uh, US West, Oregon, right? And you also have uh, other US West, which is uh, California, Northern California. You also have uh, US East, Ohio, US East, North Virginia. So uh, different regions you have, and each region have different kind of uh, availability zone. You can see, this one have four availability zones. This one have even six availability zones. So there are multiple availability zones in uh, different uh, locations, uh, different regions. And there is one Canada West is coming soon. Now, if I go to this uh, no, uh, page from the Gartner where we spoke about magic quadrant for cloud infrastructure and platform services, you'll be able to see this uh, details like you know how they have given like who are the leaders in the cloud infrastructure and platform service and you also will be able to see the vendor strength and caution so you can see read through it like each uh, uh, vendors what uh, strength they have it and what uh, no cautions you need to go through it so you, they have given a complete details about the analysis like you know each cloud provider what are their strength and what are the cautions which uh, uh, as per their analysis so you can have a look on to this so i will link all these things in, into the video description so that's what i wanted to cover as part of this uh, beginner uh, tutorial like this will be a complete uh, beginner tutorial for you know a starting a process so we are going to talk about the infrastructure first then we will talk about how you can set up your uh, instance then how we will see you know how what is a vpc what is you know uh, ec2 what is uh, s3 how you can uh, create different kind of thing cloud friend how you can make use of cloud friend or how you can make use of different kind of you know services inside aws so all those things we will see in the upcoming tutorials 
so this was this will be a, a starting one but you have to look into the playlist i'll be adding new videos into the playlist uh, up in the upcoming days that is all uh, for this uh, video so uh, i would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button like my video share and uh, give your feedback in the comment section so anytime you know i will reply uh, based on your uh, comment i'll be always uh, re responding back as soon as possible okay so thank you for watching